Hi guys, so how are you doing? Today uh, I decided to build another project. Um, today I'm going to be using a 12 volt, 7 amp hour lead acid battery. Um, and I'm going to be using this little device here that I built a while ago. I think you saw this on my previous video if you've seen it. It's basically something I was going to use on my border pool or portable battery pack. Um, which is basically like the adapter, you have your main feed going into there and then coming out of it you've got 12 volt cigar lighter adapter and some metal power pole there. So it's a bit of a splitter to give you more power and some more uh, connectors and a little banana plug adapters there for twisting cables and plugging things in. Um, I've decided that I needed a, yet another battery pack uh, as if I haven't got enough already um, but I wanted one that I can use more on my workbench to give me that 12 volts power that I need to uh, do testing of electrical items uh, and also potentially another smaller patchy pack to take uh, portable radio with me, uh, mainly for QRP work, it's a very low powered work because obviously if you're going to be using more than sort of 5 watts you need some uh, battery power, uh, a bit more substantial than just uh, a 7 amp power battery like this. So um, working on the bench testing radios, testing cables, lights, uh, those sort of things, uh, absolutely perfect, a nice good size, relatively light, um, and then portable use for radio, bit of QRP, um, excellent as well because it's, it's got enough power for that, so that should be okay. So what I wanted to do is to be able to combine this with the battery. Um, so this is pretty much ready to go, I've decided I'm going to just stick this on, uh, connect that to the uh, to this, to this the, uh, the spades of the battery and that'll give me the power that I need. So uh, pretty much it really, so I'll show you what I'm going to do. Okay so the first things first, this is the battery, this is my little uh, splitter box here. What I'm going to do, it just fits on the top quite nicely actually, what I need to do is to just cut away those two corners of the, um, the box there and it actually just fits, if I push that right up to the spade connectors it actually fits just nicely on top of the battery. So before I uh, do anything else uh, I need to ship down these wires and I need to glue this onto the top of the battery. So best way to do this. I think if I cut that there So first things first then, let's just get these cables kind of twisted, ready to go. I'm going to just tin these now, it'll just make the soldering process a little bit easier. Who's texting me now? Very important to get these things tinned or else it's a lot more difficult later to solder. Give that a minute. Really need to get this as hot as I can or else it's just going to cause problems later. So we're now ready to glue this box onto here. So I have to be quick with this. Hopefully it's going to be hot enough to melt enough of this. Like so. Act quickly. Get yeah, that pushed right in, right in there, and push it straight down. And that should be absolutely spot on. Okay, so that's, um, that's held on quite nicely. So the next thing I need to do is to connect the battery. Now, before I connect the positive, I need to make sure this is an open circuit. So, Checking for continuity. Now before I do that, let's get a fuse put in here. Now I'm going to rate this, um, I think the maximum current I'm going to be using on this is probably 10 amps. Okay, so let's get a 10 amp, red amp, 10 amp is the red one. So I'm going to put a 10 amp fuse in there. 
that's better. Nice, tight, good connections in there. So, continuity. There should no, be no continuity between that terminal and that terminal. No, there isn't. That's good. So I'm happy with that. Now, I'm not going to shorten this cable here because at some point this will be dismantled, as all my projects are, and I'll be reusing these parts, and I don't really want to have this any shorter. And there's no real need to anyway at this stage. So I'm going to keep it at that length. Um, let's get a bit of solder. Excellent. Okay, that's joined nicely. Good solid connector. Let's just get rid of that bit of loose solder. Okay, and there we have it. So the test is, do we have power coming out? So I'm going to stick this meter onto 12 volt DC. Um, negative into there, positive into there. Wonderful. 14.19 open circuit is going to be. Okay, and there we have it. Turn that off. So we've got now a portable battery pack, ideal for sitting on my work surface, providing me with buddy poles or power poles rather, outputs, cigar lighter. I can connect bare cables to here if I wish, or I can plug in banana plugs into there. This one here, um, I'm going to put crocodile clips on. Uh, which will be uh, high, really handy and ideal for uh, testing uh, small lighting circuits and, and other bits of bolts without any connectors on. The only concern I've got is that if I put uh, crocodile clips on here, then if they touch and short out, I'll pop the fuse uh, and I could potentially drain the battery or damage the battery. So I need to have some sort of switch onto here. Now, if I put a switch onto here, uh, I don't know whether to have the switch isolating the whole of this adapter or having the switch just to isolate these crocodile clips here because the switch that I bought originally um, this is rated at only 5 amps so if this is to control the whole lot 5 amps uh, might not be uh, quite enough and it might do some damage to the switch so it could be that 5 amps is the maximum I'm going to need to draw for the crocodile clips so I've yet to think about that one but whilst I give it some thought Let's just tape to make sure there's no accidents with this. Um, and then I think that's going to be the best thing for the moment. Uh, so the next thing to do is to test it to see whether it works uh, with my radio equipment. The other advantage is that uh, using my solar panels and my solar controller gear, um, I can charge this up using all that solar as well. So all in all, great to go into the backpack for portable QRP work. Uh, and also great for sitting on my desk to uh, enable me to do some testing with it. So uh, we'll uh, give it a go and see how well it works.